Imagine trying to leave your neighborhood and seeing this body of water blocking the only exit. The Stoops family deals with this on a regular basis. Heather Stoops and her husband Jamie have come up with a solution. If you cannot get across the road by foot or car, why not try a boat? We have five kids, that um, four being teenagers, and as you can see our 12 foot boat is only 12 foot, so it's, it's kind of small to get five kids across to the bus. Stoops says people buy boats because of this flood. I don't think anybody on this side is actually river people that own a boat and go out on the river, um, but in this situation I think they all own a boat now. Stoops shared her concerns with the Pike County Commissioners. My main concern is the, um, you know, the, the people not being able to get to us in case of an emergency. Uh, we do a lot of horseback riding, ATV riding. We have some, some people that, you know, live close to us that, um, you know, I just, I just worry about something happening to them on the farm and not being able to get help to them. The road that, uh, that you had mentioned earlier uh, lies within the special road district, and that would be uh, a problem uh, really for the, road, the special road district rather than for the county itself. Bucky Ward with the Special Road District says they had looked into the fix, but a number of problems get in the way. Stoops proposed raising the road about five feet to prevent the flooding. Ward says this poses a problem. Building up the road may add extra pressure in the water to the levees. Ward says the lifted road would act like a dam. Stoops still hopes there's a solution. Wow, we just really have been fighting for this for a really long time, and I don't think it, you know, it would take, financially it would take a huge cut to them. Um, but I, I just would, we would all really appreciate it if, if it would be looked into. Ward also says this project would be very expensive. He says the Special Road District doesn't currently have the funding to embark on this project. So for now, the Stoops family needs to keep their sea legs until the water goes down. Jeff Monlock, KHQA News, Louisiana, Missouri.